Hello everybody, my name is Katemo, welcome back to the video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We're gonna continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and did a lot of things. We uh, finished up the arc in uh, the uh, southeast. I forgot what uh, which one it was. It was close to Kent, but it wasn't Kent, it was the other uh, territory. But anyways, now we're on to the next arc right here. Which right now we gotta find the missing Elderman, which we already know where he is. We found him at the, at the very end of the last oh, video. For some reason, uh, it was lagging out or something like that, boys. It was glitching out. I don't know why, but I was in the middle of the cutscene and everything, right? It didn't want to do anything, so I saved up the game. I'm still here. Don't know if I'm going to have to load up the game or something, because look at this. I'm right here. I'm right here. She's there. She's interacting with the, with the guy. He's clearly dead. So it's like, is that like a, a natural problem or... A, cutscene that's supposed to pop up but it's not popping up like i am not sure what's going on here boys i'm really not sure right here oh hold on i can't even see anything down there it's so goddamn dark there we go got it see over here if i start walking right here i'm super i'm going super slow so i'm going super slow so i imagine this is because i'm supposed to have a cutscene right here but i think it's completely glitched out towards where i can't do anything boys which is not good at all. If the game me mechanic is glitched out like that, what am I supposed to do, really, right? All right, let's see if it works this time around, boys. I, I hope it works. I hope there's going to be like a pop up or something like that. It is. There is a pop up. All right. So it was some kind of glitch. Uh, I actually did not load the save file. I just went back and backwards and forwards. I tried a couple of things and it worked, boys. Weird ass glitch. That's for sure. I went too quick or something. I guess. Super weird glitch, though. Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? He seems dead to me, my girl. Have you lost your mind? Were you speaking with him a moment ago? Your Elderman appears to be dead, my girl. Your Elderman is long past the days of good conversation. Yet still, he makes good company. I've been instructed to wash and prepare his earthly vessel. Instructed by whom? Soldiers. They brought him here as he protested, feebly. I did my best to make him comfortable. Until he slipped away. He fell to his death, really? I've seen all I need here. Why you? Why has your elderman death been obscured? Unwell should know his father's fate. Exactly, he should know. Hoonwell deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Alrighty then. Well, let's find out. Now we can actually interact Rider with everything. Good God. Took so long, and boys, to figure that glitch out. Let's read all of this. We're gonna get every single That's one of these things, boys. An approach with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll okay. send this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. I'm sure he can uh, he can withstand it. And I'd rather not ask. Yeah. I thought the same. Troubling. Let's not ask, yeah. I think that's just piss around it. I or let's let's not ask questions that we don't want answers to, boys. Uh, let's just go outside really quick. There we go. Finally, the cutscene happened. We can finally head back to the actual main village. Uh, I did get an ability, though I unlocked an ability nearby. So, oh, that's just an upgrade for this. Okay, very good then. Uh, let's go into the world. Where is the thing at? Is this city? It's fast travel there, boys. All right, here we are, boys. We're back at the palace, or back at the village itself. We're gonna interact with uh, Unvault 
and actually tell him of his father's passing so he can become finally an elderman. He should probably know that. I had a feeling that's what's gonna, what was going to happen here. Eivor, what news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbiok's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady on vault. Uh, your shire uh, has no elderman. You've been lied to. Uh, actually, uh, keep steady, my uh, on vault. Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? That's gonna... It's not going so well right Lord now. Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Is Unvold your elderman now? Uh, the Danes should take charge here? Oh, damn, I'm not about to say that. They're gonna lose their minds. King Chilwolf must choose a new elderman. Well, I guess the king could choose a new elderman, yeah. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Chilwolf to make that choice. Well, once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your Shire Moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Okay, we Norse have a similar costume. I don't understand any anyone in this Shire. Will Unwald uh, be safe until the Shire Moot? Will he be safe, exactly? Well, actually, we Norse have a similar costume. I don't really care about Anvil anymore. We're going to find a new Elderman. I don't think Anvil is going to be it, unless I'm mistaken. We have a similar custom, what we call an Alding, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Yeah, it should. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past week. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priest will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes. Quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. So we got a choice, I guess, to make With between Hunbiot's three persons, I imagine. Secret, three guys. Enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Oh, so we gotta find Ulvald? I should follow her. So we're gonna, I guess we're gonna look into uh, Anvald's uh, 
location i guess uh we did level up as well so let's take a look on that really quick so where do we want to spend our next points we got a new skill tree right that we gotta go into i imagine so which one is the most interesting missile reversal oh that's kind of cool that's kind of cool what about this though adrenaline upgrade I, I don't have that just yet we've got last chance healing that's kind of cool i kind of want that boys last chance healing seems like a good one 207 of power now we're moving up in there so we got two things to do speak to alfilger uh alfilger or aka boys let's just do this one first uh where is it at is it over here in his estates wait where is his estates it's outside the world uh outside the uh oh yeah it's outside the walls so let's just actually do the aka thing because it's it's way closer boys you want to as well do the one that's actually the closest to us right now so yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're gonna have to choose for this mood. We're gonna have to choose between three different uh, characters. So it's either gonna be the kid, the elder, uh, the uh, the priest, or the this guy right here, or the other guy that I'm supposed to meet and stuff. So I don't know I just yet which one of these three I, I want to meet. Maybe the priest seems away. like the most valuable option right now. I do, but I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. Yeah, me too. I think he's he's not fit for it as well. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. You broke an oath to your ward. Who put you up to this grand lie? I have no I have nothing more to say to you. I have better people to speak to. Wallowing your self-made grief, Abyss. Go then. Why linger here? All right. So, we got to go looking for him, I imagine. That's interesting. Now we're actually welcome here. That's interesting. They didn't uh, attack me or anything. The guards. That's good. We're actually welcomed here. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and talk to this guy. He's closest to us. So let's do that, boys. We're going to take my uh, deer right here as the mount. And uh, travel there really quick. All right, here we go, boys. We're here. To Alfga's turn or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's meet up with this guy. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Why should I vote for him or why should I... I'm pleased you Take came. him over anybody else. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're quite a wealthy man, then. Uh, it, it's more a lake, I'd say. Uh, you said you had something to show me. There you go. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeorn, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. Is that it? Just a weapon? Are you trying to win my favor for something? Shouldn't this go to Anvald, exactly? This should probably go to Anvald. Belongs to his father, after all. If this belonged to the elder man, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. I don't know about this guy, man. To be plain, Eivor, Seems fishy to me. Has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like of a Scottish man? Sorry? I'm the definition I think of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. Ah, oh, I should probably do that. <laughs> I mean, if a Scottish man can do it, right? I might as well do it as well. What are you doing so far of your land, buddy? 
You didn't think I realized uh, I not realized uh, your accent, my guess. I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herefriz and Funwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified. Not of being raided, but of their spouses being seduced away. With all your perfumes and braiding and grooming and, and bathing. -y. Are we hunting, Algar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. So he's definitely, they're all going to try and win me over. Except for Omval. I don't know what he's going to do to try and win me over. So far, the priest is still the one that I think... Is the most oh, one. He's the most respectable it, one, you know. Surprise. What surprise? I don't know. I don't trust this Scottish guy, boy. He's... Uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? Well, I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well and itching for a hunt, as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Just because we're Danes doesn't mean we know each other, Maga. Well, Matt, I'm from more uh, Nori, in fact. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not a Dane. I'm uh, I'm something else. Okay, so El Elfigar is eager for us to meet, I guess. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgar has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. I Our like the sound of this. There. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Grim seems like a cool dude, though. But I don't like, I do not trust uh, this other dude, I'll figure or whatever. I do not trust him, boys. I, I am not going to vote for him as an elderman. He seems like a really fishy dude. He says he likes the Danes. But saying you like them and actually acting like you like them, like them is a different thing, boys. I don't think I should uh, definitely not vote for him. I'm, I'm going to help him out with this bear problem, but aside from the rest... Not going to happen, boys. I don't think I'm going to vote for him. Definitely not. The priest seems like the best option. It really does, boys. Oh, the hell? Wolves, huh? I guess there's a, is, there's no bear here. It's just a bunch of wolves. All right. It's fitting, man. We keep attacking wolves ever over and over again in here. Didn't know there was so many wolves in England. It's interesting, boys. All right. Let's kill them off, boys. Kill these wolves really quick. Oh god, he attacked me before I could do my attack right there. Skim off, boys. There we go, got him. Got the, uh, the last one, just like that. Okay, regroup with Grim. I mean, that was pretty easy. Where's Grim at? Let's go. Hopefully, he's not in trouble. Is he attacking the bear by itself? He better not be. The hell? Seem to be a sea of fire. Eivor, you're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this. But please, my God, help me with this. I'm in this fight with you. A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me. All right, well, let's go, Grim. Let's assault them, I guess. Well, whoever did this, I think it's a, it's a, it's a ploy, though. I think it's definitely something that Alfager himself did to his own estate. To uh, make it seem like he was defenseless or something like that. He's trying to win us over somehow, boys. They must get to safety. Someone waited until you were away to set your world aflame. I'll send them straight to hell. Clear out the attackers. Yeah, I got a feeling something's going on, boys. I do not know who did uh, this attack, who commanded it. But it, it's got to be Alphagir. I got a feeling, boys, it's... Definitely, uh, it's not the priest. He's probably gonna try and claim it's the priest or something, but it's it's not gonna be boys. I, I can tell you already. 
Uh, something really bad here is happening. Uh, it's going to be big time competition, of course. But I'm not going to be taken over by this nonsense right here. Uh, he's not going to win me over, boys. My choice is already made by now. I think it's definitely the priest. Either the priest or Onval. If he can... If Onval can show himself as being more than a little boy, I'll definitely uh, vote for him. But uh, otherwise, I, do, I think I'm going to vote for the priest, boys. I think it's, this place needs a new change. It's definitely not going to be this guy. No, you don't. Got you, buddy. Really quick. Gotta kill this man. Eh? This is the last one remaining. God damn. He's uh, really serious about this. Alright, there we go. He's finally dead. You, you okay, dude? Oh god, he's, he's still in trouble against this one dude. Okay, let me uh, kill him off. There we go. I got you. You okay, dude? The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. I'd say it's still a little bit too convenient for him to, uh, for his estate to get attacked right as we get out of there. For doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven. The bear is returned. But there's the bear. That's the bear you wanted, huh? Alright then. No, you don't. Let's go. I got you. Got it. That was actually a pretty... Uh, not that big of a bear, to be honest. I dealt with it very quickly. Alright, so we leveled up. I guess now the, the other mission is just look out, uh, going to look for uh, Onvald, I guess. So let's do that. Where did I uh, go for the tree? There we go. Ability damage. Way of the wolf and that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. We just basically got to travel there on, on horse should do the trick or on deer this time around. So let's go ahead and do that boys. I'll see you once uh, I'm over there. All right, so Unval should be right here boys or Unval. That's why they that's how they call him. Oh, there it is. There he is boys. We found him pretty easily actually. Are you okay, dude? What's going on here? You you still sobbing over your father? Hello. Damn. Eivor. All right then. Is that you? You gotta Eivor, keep yourself together. You're supposed surprise. to be the new elderman, my guy. Would you drink with me, Unvald? Come, S sit, sit, stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. You're grieving, I understand. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Collect yourself. Do you want to be an elderman or not? Men in Lincolnshire who'd pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely my father would have liked you he liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease i would have liked him too i think no you would have hated me i think you would have hated me an outsider whose people ravaged his shire i think he would have hated me He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. Your father to you, Anvald? To Lickenshire, yeah, not to your father. He went up and died like a dumbass. To Lickenshire. To this great land that bore you. It was here long before your father, and it'll be here long after he's gone. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! 
<laughs> oh, my swan burrow loved that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love, she sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Let's see what your Nothing Danish like love looks like, my girl. My guy. What the hell? I'm getting attacked by a deer. What the fuck is this? Get out of there. Why am I getting attacked? Oh, now I'm super drunk. Well, that's great, boys. It's always great to be super drunk in the moments like this. While I'm getting attacked by a goddamn deer. All right. Let's go. Let's follow him up, I guess, boys. Before Where are you going to lead me at? Wolf. I spoke with Alvgar before this. He gifted me a weapon of your father's. Should I find that odd? Hmm. I'm not sure. They often went hunting together, so it's not strange that he should have something of my father's. You do not want it yourself, as a memento mori. No, no. You're better suited to such gifts. I'm a talker, not a fighter. Now Still, this weapon doesn't belong to me. It should belong to you, my guy. I don't know. Of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Well, I'm wondering. Grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Exactly. Oh, very true. Winter, Holidays, right? It's always winter in there. The God them Norway and Sweden. So. Why Always so? got them snows, so I love this land. what are we supposed to do over the there? We can't grow anything. Footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? I don't think that was birds. I think we're gonna get attacked here. Oh, I see it. I saw that guy. You can't go, right? Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eivor, I am sweating from head to toe. This is not good. Assassinate. Got it. Who are these guys right now? Oh, there it is. There's a go. There's a guy right there. I got you, buddy. Let's go kill him off. Kill you off. Assassinate all of them boys. They're trying to take us over, huh? They're trying to to get uh, rid of us or something. What the hell? Now of course this was gonna happen. Oh, there's a guy right here. Okay, got him. There's another guy right here. We got him. Why did they shot uh, show up on my radar though? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm doing the radar thingy and it's not showing up. Okay. Where's he at? Where's it? Eliminate the threat. I mean, is there more of them? I don't see. Oh, there's there's the guy right there. There's a guy right there, boys. I'm actually gonna go up uh, behind him and stuff. And you're dead. Just like that. Oh, there's the last reviewing guys. All right. Good to know. There's actually guys behind me as well. They're really uh, going out for big time trap, boys. Ain't gonna happen on my watch though. Okay, so I missed up a guy at the very beginning. Of the road that's very interesting let's go there i guess travel back right now kill this guy off and afterwards tell uh Umvold he's i don't know what he's doing but let's make a mistake right now okay there we go we got everybody yo onval you're in trouble my guy i know you're grieving and all and you're super drunk but now is not the time definitely not the time for this shit but that's actually we need to speak to him Twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough. My lady love. Come, 
Let us hurry away. I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. I really do not like that. Hunwald, she, he really, sure he really wants to see his goddamn Dane lover. Spot in the Shire. Yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Yeah, I got a feeling that this lady of his is definitely not an actual woman. It's probably just a weapon or something like an animal or weapon or something that doesn't talk or breathe. That's what all I'm saying. It's probably something like that. And uh, I got a feeling, unless it's actually a woman, you never know. But I, I, I doubt it is the case, man. I'm pretty sure it's just something, an immovable object or something. Okay, there's something going on right there. Okay. So what is it exactly? What's your lady like? Is that the girl? sure you'd be dead why didn't you send word it has been far too long my little jewel i'm so very sorry for that i'm fine my love i wilted without you but still i grow and who is this ah yes i am proud to present eivor of the raven clan hello eivor a pleasure to meet you Pleasure to meet you too. There's a, there is a face behind that name after all. It's good to meet you as well. I don't have time to chat. You make an interesting couple. Uh, it's good to meet you as well, and I guess. You, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories. Yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. The Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. We had a deal. Well, we did have a deal. We had a deal, Hunwald. My aid for an oath. If you won't stake your claim here, then I have no reason to lend you my sword. I'm sorry. My will falters from time to time. After some rest, my senses will return. Lie down, love. You'll be fine. My oath could always be moved on to somebody Watch else, though. One. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. The All right, then. Will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Let's go to the Shire mood, boys. Uh, where's that? That is probably yeah, in the actual village itself. So let's do that. Let's go over there, boys. There we go. Fast travel there, and uh, we're gonna meet with everyone. We're back in the city, boys, or the village, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a city. It's Lincoln, after all. So we're gonna meet up with uh, with Aka right here. Or Acha. All right. Why do I always mispronounce people's uh, name, man? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, let's attend the Shire Moot. Yes, yeah, let's do it. Curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I will follow. Now, if there's a choice I have to make, boys, I'll definitely choose the uh, the priest. I'm sorry, but I gotta choose him. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. I knew it. To break this impasse. I knew it, yeah. So I have to make a choice. By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. 
Yeah, I'm going for the bishop. Uh, if I have an actual vote, I'm going to vote for the bishop, boys. I feel like he's the most trustworthy one. Well, maybe not the most trustworthy one, but the most capable one, that's for sure. I need someone that's capable of helping me out. The new elderman's life will be in danger. My decision will be difficult. Elgar and Hunwal were attacked recently. And your bishop remains fearful. It's clear someone wants this stopped. They tried, yes. But they did not succeed. Praise be to God. I kept them safe, not your God. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. All right. Let's just vote for the bishop, boys. It's clear to me who I want to vote for. I don't even need to to ask anybody what they think. Speaking with the council may help with your decision. I already made my decision. I already know who I'm voting for. Obviously. Uh, I'm not going to vote for Umwald. He's a little kid still. He hasn't proved me anything, boys. He hasn't proved me anything at all. The other guy seems fishy. Having the bow and all. Seems like he's in it. He's probably with the bandits and stuff. I think I gotta go for the priest, boys. He seems like the most honorable person in there. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. It is what it is. Uh, interact. Alright, so. Let's see right here. Who I vote for? Three men, three possible futures. What do you want, Odin? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Considering uh, Alfred, I should... No, it's not any of these two. It's definitely the priest. Bishop can be stuffy wallows in Christian piety but he is wisest of the free and has already proven himself yeah he's the wisest he's the most capable one I'm voting for him boys I don't even need to think about it he's an actual he's the most capable one of uh, to uh, lead out of all these three I've made my choice now if it's the bad choice it is what it is I'm gonna live with it boys I've lived with a bunch of bad choices already I'm doing the thing that I think, like I'm doing the decision that I think is the best option right now. Has spoken, and he has spoken with a ringing voice. The bishop Herazrith shall be Lincolnshire's elderman. Thank you, one and all. God's blessing go with you. Psalm seventy-eight, seventy-two. David shepherded his flock by the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skill of his hands. So I shall lead with heart and hand as one. God bless you all. There we go, Bishop. He knows. He knows I chose him. I've got an oath to him now. All right. He's got an oath towards me. The kid wasn't ready for this job. It's nothing long. personal. It's a long ride to Grimsby. I'm only sniffing it. I seem to have lost my thirst. Here of him was the right man. Bring Edelman is beyond your skill. You, your place is with uh, Swanborough. Now, Erifrit was the right man. That's all I'm going to say. Herifrit was the right man for the seat, Hunwald. He has influence and respect. Something you have yet to earn. I know. I've always known. I think I wanted this only as a means to remember my father. There are better ways to honor his memory, like a drink and a song. Yes, that's true. Thank you, Eivor. We will speak again soon. I have an alliance to secure. Exactly. I gotta do my share of alliance right there. Make sure that the priest follows his roots and actually helps me out in time of need. Now that I voted for him to be the elderman. Eivor. You have gifted me a great honor, one I hope I can repay. One you must repay, as our tradition demands. 
Name your need. I want your holy word that Lincolnshire will be a friend to the Raven Clan through the thickest and darkest of troubles. Yes, of course. I've no doubt we are friends, you and I, from this moment forward. Only call, and I shall come. Thank you, Bishop. Take care of your sheep. And shear that one from time to time, for his own good. But my job here is done. There goes it. Uh, there it goes, boys. Yeah, they thought they could all win me over, but I think the bishop definitely was the right decision all along, boys. He's the oldest, the wisest. He's the one who knows best. Now everybody's gonna be friendly to me here. You know, sometimes you just gotta choose the most obvious of answers, which is the bishop in that case, right? You gotta just choose the one that you think is the best suited for the job. Not just your, you can't just follow your heart. I, my heart was telling me, oh, go for Anvald. He deserves a chance to p go at his father's steps and stuff. But he hasn't proven him anything. He never proved me anything. He was a weakling, a little boy. And even at the very end there, when he was talking to actual Dane lover, uh, he was saying I should stay here and stuff like that. Then he said otherwise, but already too late. The fact that he said that in front of me. Proved to me right there that he wasn't fit for the job. So I had to make a choice. And if, if it was between these two and the bishop, I was uh, going to choose the bishop all day, boys. All right, let's uh, get last chance healing. Unlock this. Range of resistance. There we go. And we unlocked a new skill tray uh, right there. Let's see in the inventory stuff. We got some new stuff. Oh, it's a new bow, right? Yeah, it's a new bow that I gained. So nothing too crazy. Got to bring new quests or so reporting. So we just got to head back to our camp. Report to Renvi that we did our thing right here. And uh, uh, I guess go for a new uh, arc. Back at the camp, boys. Let's go ahead and, uh, and talk to uh, Renvi. Finally. See what Sigurd has to say about all this. Uh, does he have to say anything? Or anything to say because... He's more like mourning. I don't know what he's doing in his own Bishop, camp, but I'm doing everything right now. Here we go, boys. So that's the that's it right there. Lincolnshire. Actually, it was in the Scottish era, so it was. It made sense actually. The Scottish guy was there. He is kind of in Scotland and stuff. Uh, not there yet. It's still in England, but it's pretty close to Scotland. Interesting. All right, show me the alliance map. Where do we go next? Which one are we going to choose next, boys? Because at this point, I already know that we're going to have to do all, every single one of them. So 220. This is 250. And this one is 190. So it seems like this might be the one we need to go for. Jorvik. Uh, it seems like a good option, right? So uh, let's choose this one. That's, uh, that's the next step, really, it looks like. Tell me about Jorvik. Hytham says there are three more targets there. Oh, there's Which actually three Templars in there. Our old friends Jor and Ljuvina have made their homes in Jorvik. Both had status and influence in Norway, so they may have valuable insights into the city's politics. That will make my work easier. What say you then? Uh, let's do it. Let's pledge to uh, Jorvik, boys. It's a little small place. I'm guessing it's really going to be a, uh, another small arc right now. there. Do you know where I might find Jor and Lufina? When entering a new city, it is best to ask around the courts. The people there know more than the average peasant. Alright, so... Looks like we got everything done, boys. So we got a bunch of stuff going on. Let's go, man. We got our new tech, uh, our new uh, mission, I guess. Which is go to uh, over there. Now, I don't know. Did I... Yeah, I think I've unlocked everything. Yeah, I, I've... This is all the way, almost in Northumbria. Northumbria is all of this. This is literally like a natural city-state. It's just like London, basically. It's the same type. So uh, let's see what we got in Jorvik, boys. It's going to be very interesting. Probably uh, going to be a very short arc right there, this one. We're in the city, boys. It's a very north-like uh, city right there. There's a lot of snow and stuff. This is definitely reminiscing of being in Nori again, boys. Settled near this harbor. Someone should know where to find them. Yeah, we, there's someone should definitely know where to find them. There is like a chest right here I can take. So 
Let me loot this chest really quick. There we go. Get as much treasure as possible. We got some supplies. That's pretty great. Uh, there's not a lot. Uh, there's actually nothing really that I can upgrade nowadays in these uh, in these parts of, uh, in my settlement. So there's not a lot I can really look into. But uh, let's talk into everyone. There we go. There's some people right here I can talk to. So maybe uh, find out what's going on here. Clean dock in Jorvik. Fuck is that face? Is he constipated or something? The fuck was that? You must be the dog master. What gave it away? Everyone hates you. As I just explained to your friend there, if your wares have been seized, take it up with the council. These merchants are not my friends, but I'm looking for some. Kjor and Luvina. You know Kjor and Luvina? What business do you have with them? I know them. It's none of your business. Tell me where I can find them. Yes, I know them, and you seem to know them too. Point me in the right direction. In a manor surrounded by flowers. That's where Kjor and Luvina live. How about some coin for my trouble? How about I cut out your tongue? Forget I said anything. That's right. You're not getting anything, my guy. You better chill. Pure and Yuvina have done well for themselves. So I gotta find some sort of manor right here. Interesting. So they've they've got a big estate or something, or did they actual chieftain of these places? Very interesting. If that's the, uh, the case, right? Uh, where's it at? Oh, over there? Have a look that seems to be it right there. Yeah, that's it. We got this one right there, boys. Seems like the right option. I mean, yeah. Surrounded by flowers. This looks like a, bit, a good place. A really beautiful place, too. Counselor's house. Really? What the fuck happened? the hell happened here well, they got attacked this is not good at all really not good who could possibly want to attack them oh no 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 hold on climb up because there's uh, a clue right there looks like it continued outside okay so they went outside yeah drop down drop down there's some more clues right there boys Over there, already you know, boys. Look at this. Is this one of the thieves? Hmm. The trail continues. Why would they get attacked by thieves? Uh, some, uh, something definitely is going on right here. Who is that? Come closer. Now, it's it's me, Duvina. It's Eivor. Eivor? What? Who sent you? Are you with them? Breathe, Duvina. You're rattled. You know me. I'm a friend. Are you? You show up here like this. These people tried to kill me. What are you talking about? I'm here to build. You uh, you would not kill me on arm. We need to get out of here. You would not kill me on arm. Cast your suspicion or be ready to kill me. Because I will not raise my weapon against you. I did not mean to doubt you. It has been a tense few weeks. Who were they? Why were they after you? They were after this. I do not know what it is, but these men were ready to kill me for it. A poor fellow soldier of Christ. You know him? I've seen a letter like this before in London. This city is in great danger. Where is your? At the Royal Hall. I will take you there. It's just like London, boys. Another city state where it's corrupted by the goddamn Templars and everything. Not good at all. Let's follow her, boys. Lufina. They are still looking for me. Hide low. We can slip past them. I don't know if we can slip past them. I'm not very good at stealth in this game. 
is probably the one uh, Assassin's Creed game that I've had the most difficult time ever being stealthy, boys. They always all blend in. So uh, they're actually they're telling me what to do right here. Interesting. You know, when I say I'm not very good at stealth, boys, that's why I, uh, I'm saying that. This is one of literally the one of the worst. Because they always see me. The stealth is super bad in this game. It's really bad. Like, it's non-existence. Like, the guy, the enemy just sees you Im immediately. Literally, the stealth it, is not working. It, it doesn't work in this game. Let's go. Let's move, man. Don't know where you want to go, but uh, let's go. We got some... Oh, shit. That's a big dude. I got you. Got you, girl. I'm going to protect you. There we go. No, no, you no, you don't. Got him. Got him. There we go. He's dead. Jeez. These guys are something else. We gotta go. We gotta move out of there, boys. Now, I don't know where she is at, man. It's currently female to the Royal Hall. I don't know. where. Where's the Royal Hall? Over there? Seems like a... That's not a good place. There's actually a Coliseum right there. Your arrival could not be better timed. Call it fate. I had hoped our paths would cross again. Though I imagined a calmer reunion. We fled one problem only to find ourselves embroiled in another. While King Rishi is preoccupied with the money shortage, a group called the Red Hand has been imposing their will. The ones who attacked you? Yes and no. They are bandits, but someone is controlling them. Look no further than the names in that letter. Killing them is the reason I'm here. But they are coded. They could belong to anyone. Well, that, that's the thing. We gotta figure out who they are. And I got a strong feeling that we're gonna find one of the big four Templars, boys, in this city. All are welcome here in Jorvik. It is good to find you well, Yor. Both of you. What are you doing here? You have not come all this way for the Yuletide. I have come to warn you, old warrior, about a rut in your city. Three figures, corrupt and dangerous. We should work together to bring them into the light and kill them before they come to power. However I may help, I am ready. Slow yourselves. Eivor, you cannot just go running around the city, poking and prodding and killing at will. They nearly did me, Yor. What? These people send the Red Hand after her, ready to shed blood in your streets to keep themselves a secret, but they failed. This is the letter that was sent to our home. The needle, the firebrand, the vault. They belong to a group called the Order of Ancients. These are their assumed names, our leads. Listen to her, Yor. She has dealt with their kind before. Corruption has seeped its way into Jorvik. But King Rishi's hands are full, which means my hands are full. The council on this matter will fall on deaf ears. I do not want his counsel. All I've told you stays between the three of us. But you should introduce me to the king. I'll need to align with him if we are to go about this freely. The Picts are winning this war. We should be scraping together every ounce of silver to procure food for our men. Understood, dear Paladin, but we also have a responsibility to our townspeople. The Yuletide must go on. Enough. The more you argue, the more my head hurts. Cure. I was not aware we had company. The likes of which I did not approve. Greetings, my lord. Watch your tone. Your city is in trouble. I'm just... Greetings, my lord. I'm going to be formal. King Rishie. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Well, Eivor of the Raven Clan, as you can see, I'm in the middle of something. Kyor, perhaps for lack of better judgment, deems it necessary that you interrupt. Why? You have a problem in Jorvik. Yes, I'm looking at it. A problem that nearly got my friend killed. Juvena was attacked by the Red Hand. They raided her home, destroyed her property, and chased her through the streets. Those bloody scoundrels again. She survived. But the Red Hand has been a growing problem here of late. And what is your stake in this? You some sort of wandering mercenary? No. This is Sigurd Gjarl's Drenger. Took our old camp by the river Nene, as I hear it. 
I am Farawe, war chief to Hafdan Rangnason, and this well-fed wastrel is Aldun, high reef of Jorvik. I've seen rebel groups like this before. They sit and wait, and the moment you lower your guard, they spring up like weeds. Left alone, they will take Jorvik out from under you. Not what you want, not what Hafdan wants. Oh dear. What do you want? Tell me what you know about the Red Hand, and I'll rid your city of them. You can go about your affairs. They've been sticking their hands in coffers around the city, targeting nobles, merchants, and anyone else they can throttle. And they are growing, as you say. I would rather not be worrying about them come Yuletide. This is not something we can afford to ignore. If we do not have the means to deal with the Red Hand, we should let Eivor. Do what you can, but do it quietly. I do not want the public alarmed. Cure. Send funds to procure food and ale for Faravid's men. And make sure there's enough left over for the feast. But it's as I said. We don't have... Find it. I have spoken. This man is a guy... is a... is a fan of Mandalorian, I guess. He tells me to find more silver. Where? In a dragon's hoard? I can give you silver. I will take you back from I've got head. plenty. She will know where to begin. All right then. I cannot tell if that went the way you had hoped. It went well enough. Rishier will stay out of my way. No one can argue that the Red Hand must be dealt with. Speak a word of this to no one. A circle of trust must stay between the three of us. It surely does. So this guy looks pretty badass. Look at his costume and everything. There's a lot of badass costumes and stuff for people, but uh, all right. So we got all of this. What I'm gonna end up doing here is I'm gonna wait it out before continuing. I'm gonna leave you guys for this video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, boys. Keep it easy.